It's January 5th, 2022. Today is my birthday. A lot of people were asking me what I did today, and my response was that today was my first ever birthday date, or first ever solo birthday date. What does that mean? I just kind of like went around the city. Obviously, I'm here alone, so I just kind of did a bunch of activities throughout the day today, just things that I felt like doing on my birthday. So I hopped on the train because today I went to the Museum of Modern Art, very famous museum, very large scale museum here in New York City. One of the bigger ones, very touristy. This place is located just south of Central Park, maybe about four or five blocks away. A lot of the art in this place reminded me of what you would see at MoCA in LA. So lots of contemporary stuff, uh, lots of stuff that used like electronics and like very modern technology related stuff. After the museum, I left, and because I was so close to Central Park, I just walked down the street, spotted some rats, then I left. I jumped on the train again, and I went down south to Flatiron District, and I ate at this ramen restaurant called O Ramen. After solo dinner, I went to go and get solo drinks. There's a place nearby called Rain's Law. Rain's Law Room. This place is a speakeasy style bar. Inside, every table is only lit by a single candle and it's very dark in there. Hopped back on the train, came back to Brooklyn and now here we are at the end of January 5th, 2022 and the start of year 12, week number 590. Um, I know this is very obvious, but like something that I really like about New York is the public transportation, the train system. You pay one fee to board the train and it doesn't matter where you go in the city. So like, for example, Queens is pretty far from where I am right now, but despite the distance, as long as you're willing to get on this train and sit in the train for whatever amount of time it takes to get to your place, it's only one fee. I think it's so efficient and so inexpensive for what you're doing. It's really kind of dawned on me this week. The New York City train system, it's, it's pretty impressive. Um, my friends, I have an update this week regarding the whole, the light situation, the light bulb, all that stuff. We're gonna discuss it in this vlog here. Last week, I talked about how I would give an update to the vlog if there was a new, something new happened in regards to the basement, the light bulb, all these different things that have been going on, okay? My friends, we have an update that I wanna talk about here on this vlog this week. So let me just quickly recap in case you didn't see the last two videos. So I'm living here in a Brooklyn Airbnb and an important note is that right outside of my front door, there's a hallway, it's a private entrance that goes out to the street. So this is the main room and then you've got the hallway which is right over here to your right, my left, or your, it's just over here. In the hallway here, at the very end of the hall, there's a door with a little latch on it that goes down to a mysterious basement that is underneath this apartment. And in last week's video, I was talking about how there's a single light bulb, one light bulb that's in the hallway that illuminates the doorway that goes into that basement. And for whatever reason, even though when I moved into this place, that light bulb was functional, I tried to flip on the light switch last week and the light bulb no longer works. So that leads us all the way to present day and the update that we're gonna talk about today, okay? Things have progressed a little bit in this storyline here. Again, it's a very small update, but I do feel this is a detail that needs to be discussed because this is very important for the overall story arc of this whole thing. Now, when you look at this video clip here, notice the lights that are turned on. Okay, just kind of take a mental note of what's illuminated in this shot. That's gonna be very important for this next update here, okay? 
Now I'm gonna take the camera and I'm gonna show you what I discovered earlier this week. Okay, I'm just gonna bring the camera over this way. Okay, my friends, this is the closet behind me here. This is where uh, I actually store my camera gear in here, but there's a chest, there's hanging stuff, and there's like extra bed linens that are along the top shelf up there, okay? You can see in the shot, see this little thing up here? This is the light bulb. So this is the one and only light that lights up this closet. So the closet light was at one point in time working in the closet, but now, look at this. Light is no longer working, my friends. The closet light, just like that hallway light, is no longer working. Okay, that is the second one in two weeks. Again, could be a coincidence, you know? Maybe these things just burn out for whatever reason. It's not a really crucial light bulb or anything like that. It's not like it's one of these main lights, so it's not really like a, you know, I could still see into the closet very clearly. It's not that big of an issue, but it is an interesting thing, right? If there's a ghost that's controlling these bulbs, that's a very obvious one as to why that light bulb would go out the first one that's in the hallway. I was trying to think of why, what would be the reasoning as to why you would not want this bulb to now go on. And I was thinking, okay, this closet is where I store all of my camera gear. Maybe Ghost is trying to signify that if this is the, if the light goes out in the closet, basically I can't see my camera gear. It's like they're trying to keep that stuff hidden. They're trying to turn the light bulb out in all the areas of this apartment where they don't want me to further explore. That's kind of my takeaway here. Um, maybe we'll make this a weekly series, weekly update. If anything happens, light bulb or otherwise, I'll definitely be talking about it. Um, yeah, I'll see you next week.